Stop trading support and resistance this way. So many of you guys don't know how to trade support and resistance properly. And then you go and say, well, support and resistance didn't work. Support and resistance doesn't work for me. It's because you guys aren't trading key levels with price history. So price history is a level that has been respected well in the past. A key level is not just any support or resistance level. It is a level that has been respected well in the past. And this just makes sense, right? If a price has been respected 20 times in the past, odds are that price is going to react from this level once again. It just makes sense. So when you trade support and resistance, you want to look for higher time frame levels that have price history, an area of interest that has seen multiple taps. So I'm going to use a live example here of Solana. I posted the setup in advance inside of the Pro Discord. James, if you want to throw the screenshot up on the screen here, we've already moved stops to break even and take profit one here. But this was a live example of a breakout and retest of a support level. Okay, a retest of support. And most of you guys will take a trade like this, right? Most of you guys will take a trade like this and you're waiting for a retest and price hits your stop loss because you're not using levels with price history. So let me make this chart clean again and I'll show you guys how to actually draw these levels, draw these areas of interest. Now keep in mind, it's gonna take a little bit to train your eyes to see uh, these key zones, but you need to get in the habit of drawing these key zones. My trading strategy is I trade key levels and key fibs. That is it, okay? It's very simple, it's not complicated whatsoever, and it actually makes sense. It's a strategy that makes sense um, because based on the prices past, what will it do in the future, right? That's so we can make accurate predictions. When I am looking for trade ideas, the first thing I do is I draw my key levels. Now, I'm not drawing a million support and resistance levels, guys. I'm only drawing the key levels. So I can see here, you know, I'm on a 12 hour time frame that this is a key zone this is a key zone or a key level i refer to it as a key level key zone same thing right a support or resistance level isn't actually one exact price point it's a zone so if i refer to it as a level just know i'm talking about you know a general zone as i've highlighted here but this level was acting as support resistance resistance support 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 fail this level acted as resistance and you guys can see this right i'm not making this up you can see this for yourself right acting as resistance 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 we've finally broken above this level okay a clear breakout now keep in mind when you're looking for a breakout and retest you don't want to see this okay this is not a breakout a breakout is a clear push forward right a clear breakout this is not a fake out right sometimes you'll see this where price will just go above for a second and then it'll die right that is a swing failure pattern that is not a breakout and retest but this move here is a clear push above this level this is a clear breakout and now we're going to be looking for longs on the retest of this zone again i posted this in advance inside of the pro discord so you can click the first link in the description below to get access to the pro discord and my own custom indicators but again this was the key level that we were looking at taking a long from now in essence that is what a key level is it is just a level that price has reacted to time and time again so when you're drawing levels you want to draw levels that have price history okay another zone i can see will be down here okay this is also another key level key level zone with price history okay this was the previous high acting as resistance resistance right resistance flip to support 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 so every time price approaches this zone you should be looking for long positions and even if you had just set limits here every time price had tested the zone you would be in massive profits right and you target you know the next key level as your take profit so let's take this live example here of solana right so we have our key zone marked out we have price history we already know that price will see some sort of reaction from this level now we can go down to a lower time frame and look for other confluences right we can get our golden pocket fib from the swing low to the swing high we can see the golden pocket fib perfectly overlaps our key zone on a higher time frame so we would enter you know off of that golden pocket fib or we can go down to an even lower time frame use some of the easy algo confluences right here we see in the oscillator we got that buy dot on the one hour we swept these lows over here right so swing fail another confluence for entry you want to go down to a 15 minute time frame you can go down to a 15 minute time frame so now we get into the multi time frame analysis so you want to use higher time frame key levels and then you want to go to a lower time frame and look for that entry you know with a swing failure pattern bullish divergences right we even have that buy signal on the easy algo trading indicator now you can look for bullish confluences on a lower time frame it's very hard to mess up trading support and resistance when you're trading key levels and you're going down to a lower time frame for confluence right a lot of you guys when you're trading support and resistance 
you're not even going down to a lower time frame and looking for your entry confirmations. You're just setting a blind limit, right? That's how you get stopped out. Whenever you have a key level, as I have marked out here, you want to go to a lower time frame, do some multi time frame analysis. So by multi time frame analysis, I'll mean one hour oversold on the oscillator, maybe 15 minute divergence, five minute divergence for entry. Okay, so we're using multiple time frames to confirm our entry. So on the one hour, I can see that the oscillator is indeed oversold. Okay, we check that off, go down to the 15 minute, I can see that we have bullish divergences, we can check that off. And then we can go down to the five minute. And we can see we have a buy dot on the five minute as well. So many, many confluences on multiple different time frames telling us that longs are valid at this zone. Okay, let's look at Bitcoin as well. I want to go over some more live examples, uh, showing you guys, you know, how to trade key levels, right key levels. Okay, here's an example of a key level that got failed. And I'll explain how you can avoid trades like this. Okay, so as you can see, we're at a resistance, we break above just barely, but we're getting bearish divergences on the oscillator. And then we fail that level. This is an example of a fake out. This is not a strong breakout and retest. You can see we just barely break above price consolidates, and then we get an extremely bearish candle here, leaving behind this bearish fair value gap, breaking this level. And if we go down to a lower time frame, you'll see we didn't have any of our long confluences, right? No confluences to go long here. This is just a completely bearish dump, right? Completely bearish dump, and we failed our key level, okay? So we don't wanna take a trade when we see a setup like that. Now, if price comes back to this level, I will look to take a long position. And this is in real time, guys, so I'm not making anything up. You can see, you know, today's day is uh, October 27th, I believe, or October 28th. This is in real time. If we get a move back down to this level on Bitcoin, I will look to take a long because this is a key level. You can see this was currently previous resistance, 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 resistance. If you look back left, you can see this level was acting as support, right? Support, support. So this is a very key level. Price has reacted from this level many, many times in the past. So if we get a move down, I'll be looking to take a long position. Also, if you grab our golden pocket fib from the swing low to the swing high, you can see we have that local golden pocket fib overlapping this level as well for even more confluence. And we have some lows here, which need to get swept, right? We can have some lows here that need to get swept. So we have a liquidity pool down here as well. So there is a lot of confluence telling us to go long from this level. So anytime I'm drawing my horizontal levels, clump support and resistance, whatever you want to call them, your key horizontal levels, I always number one, look left, I look for price history, I don't just look for a single level. Like for example, this is why you guys are getting wrecked trading support and resistance, right? You would say, Oh, this is a resistance level that we are flipping to support. Okay, this is a key level. This is a support level. Guys, this is not a support level, right? There's no price history here. If you look left, you know, on a higher time frame, there's there's no price history here, right? I mean, there, there's virtually no price history here. So you want to find those zones that have been respected well in the past, look for your confluences, and then go to a lower time frame, look for divergences on a lower time frame as your entry criteria. That is how you trade support and resistance correctly, okay? Get in the habit of drawing these zones. It's gonna take some time. If you guys wanna get mentored by me directly, then you can click the first link in the description below. I'll be posting my daily analysis. You guys can follow along, learn how to draw these levels for yourself and actually earn as you learn, right? A lot of these other YouTubers, they're gonna promise you X, Y, Z. They don't show you in real time, okay? I, I post all my trade subs in real time. I've been doing this for many, many years and I'm confident that I can make anyone a profitable trader just as we've done to hundreds of people in the group. So if you're interested in getting mentored by me directly and getting the indicators that I use and click the first link in the description below, if you don't want to, that's fine as well. Just get in the habit of drawing key horizontal levels that have price history. I truly believe you only need this one skill. If you can get in the habit of drawing these zones correctly, you will be a profitable trader. That's it for me. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next video.